Well, Albuquerque police have had a busy week arresting alleged thieves and responding to calls of shootings. Angel Saucedo is in studio with a breakdown of what officers have been called to so far and a new initiative to curb crime downtown. Well, Sasha, Albuquerque police have arrested 16 alleged repeat offenders in the last three days, and they're all for shoplifting. They've also recovered $4,500 total in merchandise that was stolen from businesses. One of those 16 arrested was Kelly Sugar. Sugar is connected to as many as 69 commercial burglaries, and police say she barricaded herself inside an apartment near Montgomery in Louisiana on Thursday. That's when she surrendered to arrest. Albuquerque police are also working to reduce crime in downtown. They've put up seven new cameras along Central Avenue, going all the way from 1st to 7th Street. Now, the goal behind these cameras is to track and report crimes in real time. Businesses can also register their own camera systems into Albuquerque Police's real-time crime center to help catch criminals in the act. So I spoke to businesses today about the new cameras and if they feel like it's enough to keep them safe. Working in here, yes, I do feel safe, but like it's kind of different when we walk outside. But it's usually like three or two of us that go take the trash, because just to be safe. I think they're a great addition for downtown. Um, it, you know, as long as I, I don't think they'll stop everything, because we get our windows smashed quite quite often, so it might help with that a little bit as well. I also spoke to a server at Boots and Bourbon on Central. She says the best way to prevent crime in the area is to have more officers patrolling near Central at nighttime. Now switching to homicide investigations, Albuquerque police responded to two shootings that ended up being homicides last week. The first on Monday near 2nd Street and Central and the other on Thursday near Montgomery in Northeast Albuquerque. Now I want to show you this year's homicide account and how it compares to last year. As of yesterday, August 26th, Albuquerque police have reported 85 homicide victims. Now at the same point last year, they reported 79 homicide victims. 2021 was also the year Albuquerque broke its homicide victim record of 114. And it is worth noting that according to Albuquerque police, drug related homicides are down from 15 at this point last year to zero this year. Angel Salcedo, KOAT, Action 7 News. Angel, thank you. Those